Wait, what? Pontiac's coming back. No way! Actually, I think this could be a possibility. I think it's a great idea. I think GM should bring Pontiac back, and they should start with the Fiero. That beautiful, beautiful vehicle out of the 80s that everybody loved. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. But I think I'm onto something, and I think if Pontiac comes back, that's where they need to start. I promise you, I'm not stupid, and I'll prove it to you. So this is the inside back cover of the most recent Car and Driver magazine, right there. Uh, it's about hybrids and stuff, and none of us care. But that is the most important part of the entire magazine. And it brings up some very interesting conversations that I want to have with you. So let me first off prove, look, I am a Pontiac guy. 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 And as a Pontiac guy, I think you should listen to my opinion on this. Now, a lot of people are going to say this is a made-up ad. This is just a funsies ad, a late April Fool's Day joke, whatever you want. And in the ad itself, it says, do not, do you need to be told that this advertisement is fake and not to be taken seriously? Our lawyers think you do. But, the Firebird is on there. The name Pontiac is on there. The references are all over the place. So whoever did do this ad has to have some clout and some money behind them. I think this is actually a GM ad. I think this is something that they're doing as a water testing. They're seeing how many people are interested and who's gonna talk about it. Well, I'm of two minds with that. First off, GM, your target audience doesn't read Car and Driver magazine anymore. Or, you were brilliant, and you put an ad in Car and Driver magazine to make all of us talk about it on YouTube, where people actually do pay attention. So, maybe GM really, really does know what they're talking about. Now, let's get back to the topic at hand as far as the first part of this goes. The Pontiac Fiero, a much maligned vehicle out of the 80s that really wasn't terribly nearly as bad as it seemed like it was. I promise you, it's not that bad. But... What GM really needs to do right now is exactly what Pontiac was designed to do. What they were for generations, driving excitement. Pontiac was the brand for fun. The GTO, the Firebird. They had tons of interesting vehicles that came out that were super fun, that the young people enjoyed, and they were perfect. Okay, maybe not perfect, but they were great. GM doesn't have anything like that anymore. They have lost their way in the world of crossover vehicles and SUVs and pick -em up trucks and all that kind of stuff. Passenger cars are basically dead. Sports cars are basically dead now that Camaro was gone. What better time to bring back Pontiac? But don't bring back Pontiac as just a rebadged something else. I want to see something brand new. And I think the Fiero or something Fiero-esque is the perfect place to do it. Think about it. Let's look at what the other manufacturers are out there doing. Small, lightweight, enjoyable vehicles that are not $60,000. Look at the Subaru BRZ and the FRS, even the new Toyota Supra, the Miata. Those vehicles, we have nothing to compete with them in the, in the United States. There's nothing built here that competes with those. Build a small, lightweight chassis, rear wheel drive. You can make it turbo, you can make it supercharged. You can make it naturally aspirated if you want. That's up to you guys. We're willing to talk about it. But it needs to be fun. And it needs to not be $60,000. Make it forty grand, and you're in. You're in. So what I want you to do, what I think you should do, is you take everything you learned on building a mid-engine rear-wheel drive Corvette, and you make it smaller. But I also don't want to have all that angular stuff. I want to go back to the curves. I want to go back to somebody who could draw a car that didn't require using a ruler. Now listen, I had a New Age Mustang back in the day, and I loved it. All of that styling, that stuff, where everything is just lines, there's no curves, I get it. It was interesting for the time. And I get it on production quality and cost. That things like these, where it's just... are cheaper to build. But, they're not pretty. They're not beautiful. They're not curvaceous. Look at the nose on this car. They had beaks, they had beauty. 
They were designed by actual people who understood how art works instead of just had a slide rule and a straight edge. Get away from that. Get us back to some styling where you've got some styling like this. And bring it back in a small, enjoyable body. Bring back a convertible. Bring back a roadster. That's what we need to see. And don't make it $60,000. Keep it something that the younger people, or those of us who still don't make $100,000 a year, can afford to buy. We have lost sight of that in the American automotive industry. Ford only builds now the Mustang. That's it. Chevrolet, GM, in general, has lost everything other than SUVs and crossovers. And there's a lot of us that don't give a ding about an SUV or a crossover. We want something fun to drive. And this is GM's absolute opportunity. Now, whether or not that was their plan, whether or not that's the idea, I have no idea. I don't know anything from anybody. I'm just some stupid YouTube guy, and I work at an automotive shop. But I think GM's onto something, and I absolutely think they should bring Pontiac back. Think about all the power plants that are available. Find that, uh, that twin-turbo V6 from the Cadillac CT6. Shove that in the back of a 3,500-pound Fiero-esque sports car. Tell me that wouldn't be fun. 400-some-odd horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque. You can even give it a flappy paddle or a stick, whatever. Depending on whether or not you're capable of driving a stick might be what, you know, what question you want to drive. But perfect. You've already got a power plant. All you got to do is make a smaller version of a C8 Corvette. And I think it's a great idea. Pontiac Solstice was a great car. You may not understand it, but it was a great car. The Saturn Sky, same thing. Great car. When they disappeared, there was nothing to replace it. The Honda S2000, great car. Nothing was there to replace it. So you have the Miata that reigns supreme on the top. You've got some other guys that come out with some other stuff too, but really target at that market. Target at that fun, excitement, enjoyable driving market. Give us some beautiful styling. Give us some, some curves, guys. Give us some curves. Not just all angular stuff. We want to drive something pretty. We want to drive something fun. And we don't want to spend a mortgage payment on it. So GM, if you're interested in this kind of idea, Hey, I'm available for consulting. You just let me know when you want me to come up to Michigan. I'm not that far away. I'll actually be there next weekend if you want to set something up. I think it's a great idea. If you're just, if you're just pulling our chains, oh, whatever. It is. I'm going to build my own Pontiacs. But, GM, if you're truly interested in this, I promise you there's a market for this. I promise you there are people who still want to have fun in automotive stuff. And they want to drive something interesting. They want to drive something pretty. I promise you there's a market for it. You just got to believe in it. Do you want to bring back a Firebird? Sure. Camaro's done, but don't just reskin the Camaro. Bring us back something interesting. And for God's sakes, can we lower the windowsill on the side so that you can actually drive with your arm out like God and muscle cars intended instead of just being able to see the base of my skull and my hair? Give us a better driving position. Give us something fun to drive. Give us something pretty. I promise you the market is still there. There's a lot of us out here who really want to buy something with some driving excitement. That's just my own wonder, my own automotive musings. Uh, welcome to Automotive Adventures with Austin. Uh, this is not typically speaking what I do, but uh, Original Motor Cars did a video on this the other day that caught my steam, and I actually ran all over the city to find a copy of this magazine because I wanted to have one because I think this is a great idea. So kudos to him, sir, for your original reporting on this and for getting my, my eyes on this. Uh, I hope to see a lot more of this. If you guys are interested in this kind of thing, let's get this comment section going. Let's drive this thing. Let's share it. Let's get GM to make one of these things because I want a new Pontiac.